Hey guys, I hope you had a good weekend. For today, I have great stories to talk about, so let's get to it. The first story I have is, you might have already heard of by now, is that Netflix is no longer going to make two separate sites for their movies. One, the streaming would be net, would have been Netflix, and then just a DVD service, Blu-ray service, possibly adding in a game service, would be called Quickster. And what this, what it causes is a lot of complications for existing users and new users that still wanted to get both and such like that. And what it kind of made me bad because I have both. It would have just confused things having these two sites, two logins, two passwords, all that stuff. And it's just the less and the confusion they decided not to have two sites. They don't know if they're going to have games, but it's an obvious ideal business move to add games to your lineup. So if Netflix is able like, to be like Gamefly, to where they can send out games and use them, I'm not sure how that would work. Like, if you have two DVDs out at a time, like, you can get a game out, like a DVD. I um, guess something like that. I doubt they would have PC games because Steam and EA Download and all those kind of take away from any kind of disc service for PC games because Gamefly mostly does for consoles. So it's nice to know that Netflix made a change and maybe they can make a comeback for their users to get some improvements going with that new $16 price tag or increased price to make some more money to increase content. Next, an interesting thing about the iPhone 4S. Nobody expected many iPhones to be pre-sold as what were. It, in the first 24 hours for the iPhone 4S, they sold 1 million phones, which is astounding because last year iPhone 4, they only sold like 200 something thousand, so it's 66% increase in amount of phones sold total, which is very, I don't know if that is because they the launch dates moved from June, usually very in June, all the way over to October. And that could have caused the increase in people between um, June and October, July through October more so, to um, pre-order this phone so maybe more people had the upgrade and they could pre-order it instead of having to wait if it came out in June. So that could be the reason, but it, se it seems like any Apple product ever comes out that might have bad reviews or even I might think could be bad, like ends up doing amazingly well. There's kind of unbelievable. Every product they make does well no matter what happens to it, if it's bad or not, and people still buy it. Last but not least, we're talking about an Acer, it's called an Ultrabook. If you haven't heard of this, they're like pretty much MacBook Air, Windows laptops, if you will. They're thin aluminum, well this one specifically is aluminum, and it's solid state, um, stuff like that. It's supposed to have good battery life super long standby time. This one is the Acer Esprit Ultrabook. It's coming out to be $900. It's going to have like your ultra voltage core i5 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, your solid state drive, 20 gigs, like a 320 gig hard drive. So I suppose it turns off the hard drive. You're not That's more so for just media than anything else. And it's a solid state 20 gigs for your operating system. It's similar screen size, weight, has like a 50 day standby time six hour battery life but I feel like if you're only gonna pay a hundred dollars more to get a Mac for the pretty same thing you know that Apple processor is about the same depending if you upgrade or not for a thousand dollars but I think personally I would get a MacBook Air over this for nine hundred because if you're talking two hundred dollars more for the Mac you're talking about something you know is gonna work it's gonna be fast it's something that's been around for years it's just they've been improved upon instead of the soldier book it's a really brand new concept and it's just started out kind of like the net books when they first came out they were okay and but until once they got popular then they started getting better and better and now net books are transitioning into ultra books and more expensive than laptops more so but i think if you're going to spend the money you might as well get a mac unless you just hate the mac offering system that's just my opinion on it. If you like my video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below on my video, 
and give me improvements, give, uh, just comment on anything, chat with each other, fight, flame, whatever. Later this week I'm on fall break, Wednesday, I will be going home, so I'm not sure if I'll get a video out on Wednesday, Friday, I'm not sure if I'm going to get one that day since that's the recent iPhone, certainly will be an unboxing of the iPhone, and probably later that night, a review, unless Verizon wants to be stupid and not get it there on the 14th, so maybe no news videos the rest of this week, depending on what I have going on for my fall break, so if I don't get any videos then, I should be seeing you next Monday. If you like my video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below on the videos below, comment below on these videos, 